that. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Ride of Rice. I'm back with another video. Banger video. Banger? Like, should I even say banger, y'all? Like, that's a typical word, huh? Fuck it. I'm bringing back another lit ass video. If you're wondering what, just know that I'm in the car chilling because it's hot outside. If you guys are from Cali or probably anywhere right now that's humid or hot, it's getting hot, guys. Like, hot, hot. Like, it's been 90. Like, whew. And I'm still making this video right here. Luckily, I have an oil cooler. Without the oil cooler, I'm not able to make this video because how hot it is. Bryce, what video is it? Pretty much, I know you guys, I don't know if you guys seen that, but I don't know if you guys seen me, how I bang gears. But well, pretty much, there you go. I'm gonna teach y'all how to bang gears. That's how people call it. Driver mod, whatever you wanna call it. Shifting quick, etc. Well, today's video, I know you guys seen it. If you guys haven't seen my last video or my last two videos on um, all the races I used to do, bro, I acquired driver mod. Well, not speaking to like for myself, like I had people tell me, you know, like no, 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 like weird shit. Like I'm, I'm glad that I learned because before when I started, bro. Let me tell you, I was making sandwiches, like I was making subway footlongs, everything. So I'm gonna use my knowledge and help you guys be able to do this. Boom. Something like this or something like this. those options right there if someone calls you out in a a 20 row boom right there 50 row boom in second gear right there like look at that ass you got the front right here oh yup look at that look at that no front bumper y'all sad I'm still sad this is that gets me down but once that girl comes back I don't have to be like in the hassle of throwing it in my car, throwing it on, like back and forth. So this time I didn't take it with me, so it's whatever. But let me show you guys what tires I'm running that's making this video video capable of gripping. So Federal, RSRRs, I think they are. If you're wondering what size, I think they're like 275s by, oh yeah, right here. 275s, 35 by 19. I would have went bigger if it was a different tire, but the Federals only go high as um, 275s for the 19s. If not, I would have went on um, like 285 or some shit like that. Federals is what's helping me grip in this video. So if you see me um, not spinning, cause it's one, it's slow. Two, I got some Federals. Pretty expensive by the way. First things first, as you see, I got my driver mod shoes on. Pretty much, if you're gonna bend gears, you're gonna like be like kicking the clutch. So like I suggest you get some comfortable shoes that like you're not trying to fuck up or crease or anything. So these, these right here, if I have the bands on, I'm ready for any action. Like if you have Jordans, AF1s, if you don't mind creasing them or whatever, like I know like shoes are a shoe, you're supposed to wear them. But like to me, like driving with like, I'm not, I don't know. It's just, if it's just me or like, let me know in the comments. But driving with other type of shoes besides like bands for me, it feels so big. So when I like, or pressing the clutch, like it feels like, you know, I'm like, I don't know. My, my shoe's too big for the clutch. It's just uncomfortable for me to bend gears in any other shoes besides Vans. Or if you even want, take off your fucking shoe, you know, like that'll work too because it's pure contact with your just feet, no shoes. So there's nothing blocking. I say you get some comfortable shoes that you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be kicking, you know, yeah. Kicking like that. I'm not gonna lie guys, it got hot. So I'm turning the AC for this video right here while I'm chilling in the car. But the next thing, after the get the comfortable shoes, it's gonna be learning your gears. Like, before you start banging gears, I suggest you know how to drive manual. If you don't know how to drive manual yet, I made a video on that, so check that out. If you don't, you know I got a plug. But yeah, so you gotta know your gears and be comfortable with your gears. Like, be able to like drive with no like no load, like no looking, and just like shifting throughout. Instead of going like all slow when you're shifting gear, nah, you're gonna bang that like bang your pat pat. That's how it is, y'all. Like, you're gonna be banging the shit out of it. That's why it's called banging gears. That's the terminology. Banging gears is, you're gonna bang it. And if you're asking like, what's the point of banging gears? Like, does it hurt? Like, does it hurt the vehicle? Well, it depends. Like, 
Bro, let me tell you, let me, and then you can just get an idea because I really don't have the right answer. It probably does harm the transmission because I don't see why not because you're banging it. Let me tell you, like, my, like, process throughout, like, the years owning the car, and then you guys should, like, base it off that pretty much. Like, all right, get an idea how it is. I had the car for two years. Um, when I first got it, I learned manual in it. That was my first car I learned manual in it, so I'm stalling and shit. And then after I learned how to drive, uh, I got into the racing scene in Mexico, of course, and I just started banging gears. Like, literally, I only had, like, let me give you perspective. I only had, let me, I think it was, like, no more than 5K miles, and I was banging gears. You're not supposed to do it in the breaking breaking time miles, which is, like, I think, like, 3K or something like that. So right after that, I started banging gears. Everyone was like, what the fuck are you doing? Just banging gears, like, every, like, every fucking day because I was practicing banging gears. Like, I was literally... I'll daily drive to the car and I'll bang gears every, I'll do pulls every single day, like, kid you not, every single day to work back. It's just fun and it's like, it gives off like, it's a stress reliever, not gonna lie, it's a stress reliever too. But how I learned, one day, I was on lunchtime and I was practicing driving my car, like, you know, I've been practicing and I've been driving manual, but then I was just mad that day, like, I don't know, I was just fed up or some shit, like, it's personal, whatever, you know, I was mad that day and banging gears is aggressive, so one day I was like, I did not bang gears at all, so I was like, let me try it. At first I was scared, y'all. Like, not gonna lie, I'll probably scare you. You're probably thinking, like, I'm scared to bang gears. Because, like, it, it's scary. Look, you, you might fuck up or some shit. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna, like, I was pretty mad. So, like, I just gassed it and I just banged it, like, banged it in. I wasn't as fast as I was now, but I was going somewhere. Like, I was just banging it harder than just driving normally, if that makes sense. That's I kept doing that, but that's the first time I, like, actually banged gears. I was just mad that day. So it was, like, coincidence because I was, like, mad. If not, it's kind of scary like so if you try to bang gears just think about like your ex or some shit like how mad you are and just say fuck it go to second gear or first gear i suggest you start in second gear because first gear is like more of a pull like it's more aggressive so if you start in second gear probably go to 40 50 and then when you're ready just gas it and then when it hits the red line just bang it like literally bang it so now like, you're probably like shut the fuck up rice like just show me how to bang gears well come on y'all like I gotta tell you what's up. Like, I need to tell you my story. Like, in case some of people are wondering. If y'all, like, the new people that aren't wondering, and be like, just hurry up and just show us how to bang gears. You can see that, huh? Yeah. I'm talking to my supporters right here. Like, I'm showing them. Not some randoms, like, you know? But if you, like, fuck with the stories and how I learn, I appreciate you. But anyways, I gotta stop talking. My white legs. How do you do it? Be quick with it. It's not about how hard you throw your um, fucking gears into like the place. Even though it's called banging gears and I, I, I just talked about getting mad. Nah, that's just how I started. But once you start getting better and better, um, it's all about your feet and how fast you kick the clutch like that. It's how fast you kick the clutch. And then the rest, you just barely like throw it in. But it's all like your feet work right here. It's, it's all clutch work. So the faster you um, push the clutch and then put the gas, tan uh, gas at the same time, just to close it in that gap, right, of your clutch and your gas is how fast you're gonna bang gears pretty much. And then just throwing it in is just like another like side thing that you have to do, but it's not really important. The feet work is what's more important. You're in first gear, right? You're gonna, say you're gonna like, I'm at 40, right? I'm at 40, I'm in first gear. No, I'm in second gear because 40 is, you should be in second gear. 40 at first gear is crazy, y'all, it's crazy. So I'm in second gear. I have the gas down steady at 40 roll. I'm about to do 40 roll. Someone called me out. Be like, hey, 40 roll. Like, all right. So I'm at 40 cruising. My foot's like hovering. Like, right. This is what I do. My uh, my foot is literally on the clutch, but not like pushing down. So I'm like ready, but my foot's on the gas. So I'm cruising 40. He's like, three, two, one. I'm going to gas all the way down. And right when it, right before it hits, um, the red line, which whatever red line is different, like different for every car, but say red line, whatever red line is, um, I'm gonna, right when, before I hit it, y'all, before I hit the red line, because if you hit the red line and bounces, your car is gonna jolt and then you're gonna get scared because it's gonna slow down. But if you're tuned, it won't, but like, you get the point. Before it hits the red line, mm, you're gonna let go, clutch in fast, and then boom, throw into um, third. And then go back with that. That's a slow way of doing it. If you want like a quick example, watch. So I'm in second gear, watch. 40 row. You like that? Yes, sir. 
So that's how you do it, y'all. So slowly again. Say that, man. Fuck it. I'm in third gear. I'm already going. Like, we just took off already. We were going. I already went to third. And oh, my foot's all the way to the metal. Like, get, like foot to the metal, y'all. Like, that, when you're racing, foot to the metal. No, like, half bullshit. Foot to the metal. And then right when I'm about to hit red line, I'm about to go in fourth gear. My foot's ready. Literally ready, hovering over the clutch. Boom. I'm going to do it slow for y'all so you can see. Then I'll give you an example fast. Boom. Let go of the gas. Clutch in. Right when you clutch in, you're going to... Boom! Switch to fourth. Put like your foot back on the gas and let go of the clutch right away. Like this one, you're gonna let like literally let go of the clutch right away. It's not like go starting in first gear where you barely let off the clutch and then let go. Nah, banging gears, you gotta cause you're like engaging the clutch so fast. You're gonna have to like you're going fast. So like you gotta let go of the clutch fast, but like throwing the gear. So don't let go of the clutch until you know the gears in. Then you can let go fast. So let me give you an example. I'm a third gassing the and about to hit red line. Boom. You see that? Like that, y'all. Like, literally, it's all about being fast with your feet. You see how I barely even banged that watch? I'm gonna show you how it go. Like, mm -hmm. that's all you gotta do. I didn't bring it like that. Like, some people be banging the shit out of their, the thing and the shit not about to fall off. And like, this whole shit's gonna crack. Nah, it's all about like being smooth with your feet. It's called footwork. So, yeah, guys, like, I'll show you again. Just slow it down right here. Remember, it's not, it's not like getting out of first gear. Cause getting out of first gear, you're gonna like, like slowly ease off the like clutch. Now nah, with um, banging gears, you're gonna actually like, boom, kick off the clutch. But right when you like kick it like that, right when you kick it, you're supposed to throw your shifter in the gear. So literally, right when you push the thing, shift, let go, add gas. Some people they don't they don't take their foot off the gas, which is called um. Flat foot shifting, but I don't suggest you guys do that. That's what actually is gonna mess up your trans. So if you're wondering like, how come people sometimes don't take their foot off the gas? It's called flat foot shifting or power shifting. It's a faster way of um, shifting, but it fucks up the, actually it fucks up the trans transmission more than if you were to let go, let off, and get back on. I know that's confusing y'all. Like it's hard to explain, but like you just gotta do it. Like I said, I got mad one day, I just did it. Uh, I'll try to show you from this angle so you can see my feet and the shift there. I'll, I'll go all gears. Say I'm in first gear. You see that? Like, if anything, you can actually, um, I don't know if this is bad. Let me know if this is bad for the car because I sometimes do it and I don't know if it's bad or not. Like how I'm doing right now, having in gear and shifting it while the car's off. But if that's not bad for the car, you could practice how I'm practicing pretty much. Like literally going to the car, have it off, be in first gear. And just practice like that. Just practice like that. So let me know, guys. Is that is that bad? Cause I actually don't know if it's that bad or not. Hopefully, I'm not a bad teacher. Cause I probably sound stupid. I don't know if some of y'all um get the point. Cause I know some y'all can like can drive too. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me. Like kinda like does it make sense of what I'm saying? But the new people probably really don't get it. But for the ones that get it, let me know. Am I like kind of right or like how do you do it? Like. To me, that's how I do it, and that's how I learn. I just learn by just doing it. So that's a key part that just do it. Um, if you might miss a gear, just do it. Like, this, that's how the only way you're gonna learn because banging gear is like, a, you can't just really watch and learn. You can watch to understand, but you gotta try it on your own because everyone's different. And yeah, it took me a minute. It's like learning, it's like learning how to drive manual, y'all. Um, once you get during, once you learn how to drive manual, it's time to go quicker. Just keep like picking up the pace and that's banging gears. So hopefully that guy that helps you. If it does it, I'm sorry. I tried my best to explain. Driver mod like or driver mod or shifting quicker is like a really hard topic to explain to me. Like it's really like weird because you just gotta do it. So I tried to explain my best. So if you whatever you can pick out like everything I said, just pick it out like here and here. Like if you don't have to like recap everything but just pick out information that you find helpful and just put it to your own use and then try it you should be, you should be good bro but i'll do another example of me um, banging gears i'll try to go um higher like higher gears or whatever you know but pay attention pay attention to the right here pay attention to the speedometer as well as my shifting if you want you can um reverse it and like watch the speedometer how where i shifted at and watch how my feet go
that was the last pull I did. There was traffic, so I only went um second and third. If you've seen, I started like at 50. 50 to I don't know what I didn't see, but I'm in Mexico, so you know, I, it, it doesn't count like the speed limit or whatever. So if you guys are, if you guys scroll back and look, that can be a, like a video right there. You can look at the RPMs where I shifted and look out like how I shifted and combine all the tips I gave you. But hopefully that vi this video kind of helps in a way. Hopefully it does because that's what I'm here for to try to help you guys that are getting into cars and shit, whatever. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. I focus with the people who turn on that post notifications because I see the comments. Um, shout out to you guys. But this is Ryder Fries. I'll be back with another Bangarat video soon. And I'm out. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.